A word that can arise various feelings in an individual. For me, I think of home. It's where I'm most welcome. When I think of camp, I also think of my past two summers as a camp counselor. My very first day of joining my fellow staff, I was completely out of place. Dressed in a pair of jeans and a plain black t-shirt, I was welcomed by a guy wearing only a bright orange pair of basketball shorts, a zip-up hoodie with the sleeves cut off, and a pair of hiking boots. At this moment, I knew I was no longer in the real world, and I was immediately sucked into the camp bubble. <laughs> My first adventure at camp was not only the hike we took after our first initial meeting, but it was the adventure of understanding that for the following summer, I was going to be completely removed out of my straight-laced comfort zone. <coughs> the sound of gravel is my first welcome sign of Camp Harrison. Standing outside the activity areas at camp, it is not difficult to hear the crunch of gravel that a car makes when announcing that a visitor has arrived. On opening day, this sound is monstrous. <laughs> Unfortunately, this sound has also been known to rat out the counselors that roam around at camp after lights out. Lover's Lane. <laughs> this is the spot that feeds the drama of camp each summer. The place where sidewalks leading from the boys and girls side of camp meet, which eventually leads to juicy love triangles and summer gossip. Labor Day Couple. Here's another term that me and my fellow counselors use to judge relationships at camp. If we can see the relationship lasting past Labor Day, then we label them as a true genuine couple, not as a summer fling. Unfortunately, very few have actually been able to claim this title. Yay!